Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, WWE Royal Rumble um, tomorrow night on Peacock. Um, I went ahead and waited till SmackDown was over to see if there's any matches added. I've not watched SmackDown yet, so if they would have verbally added it and it's not listed online yet, then maybe I missed it. But based on the online right now, there's five matches: the two Rumble matches, and then we have three other matches. Um, first, we have the Raw Women's Title Champion Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. To be honest with you, my opinion, there's no reason to take the title off Bianca right now. Um, I, I mean, Alexa, yeah, I, mean, I could see her. She's former champion. Um, she's been doing the stuff with Bray Wyatt, kind of the being distracted and stuff. I know Bianca's had the title since uh, WrestleMania. She's had it 301 days. Um, they kind of flipped these titles where they had the draft and they just basically exchanged titles. <sighs> yeah, I don't think honestly at this point there's any reason for Bianca to lose that title, especially going in the main, you know, the road to WrestleMania. So I got uh, Bianca Belair retaining her title. Um, next up, we have Bray Wyatt and L.A. Knight. I know L.A. Knight dresses Bray Wyatt, the old Bray Wyatt, in the in SmackDown. I saw that online. That's kind of funny. Um, but I really want to know, what in the hell is a Mountain Dew Pitch Black match? I mean, I know what Mountain Dew Pitch Black is. It's like a great tasting Mountain Dew. But what is a Mountain Dew Pitch Black match? Yeah, um... I don't see how you have Bray Wyatt lose this. There's, there's no way Bray Wyatt loses this. The only thing I can think of, it'll be black. The crowd will be black, like you, like it was red during for the Fiend. And then you'll have a spotlight on the ring, like Dave's spotlight. And then you'll have all the characters of Bray Wyatt pop up in the crowd and distract Ellie Knight. And then Bray Wyatt will get the victory. Something weird, crazy like that. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of the Bray Wyatt right now. I like the Bray Wyatt of the rocking chair in the Wyatt family. I wish they would have kind of just maybe done that Bray Wyatt by himself. I know after the Raw, 30th anniversary of Raw with Taker and Bray Wyatt in the ring, everybody wanted to know what Taker said to him. Given as simple as, dude, you suck. You're not me. And walked away. You know what I mean? It could be something like that. I mean, who knows? We'll see where this goes. Um, but hey, you, you, you've lost me with Bray Wyatt right now. Maybe something will bring me back, but that's pretty much, you've lost me with it. Then we have the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Now, what's funny about this is if you look up the lineage of the Undisputed Championship match, it literally comes up to, it makes you go to the Universal title and WWE title. And it literally says the WWE title is on Raw. And the Universal titles on SmackDown. And if you go to list champions for the WWE title, which is the black belt, it shows, where's it, hey, Roman Reigns. He gained the title April 3rd, 2022, WrestleMania 38, night 2. He said it now is his fourth reign, 299 days plus. This was a winner take all match, which Reigns also defended the Universal title. If you look at the Universal title, it says Roman Reigns, August 30th, 2020, payback, his second the second time he's held it, 876 days. This was a no-holds-barred triple threat match that also involved Braun Strowman, Reigns pinned, who Reigns pinned at WrestleMania 38. Reigns defeated Raw WWE Champion Brock Lesnar in a winner-take-all match and became recognized as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion despite... Match being built as a unification match. Both titles remain independently active. I think that's going to come to play. So there's talk of separating them again. What I see happening is we have the Men's Royal Rumble match. I'm sorry, but if anybody besides Cody Rhodes wins this, it's it's stupid. Um, unless it's The Rock, and then that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I know there's talk of doing Stone Cold and Roman Reigns. Please, dear God, no. Um, if you want Stone Cold in the match, I'm fine with that. What he did last year with Kevin Owens was pretty fun. He doesn't need to be the title match. I'm sorry, he doesn't. Anybody disagrees with me, I'm sorry. But he doesn't. 
Um, but yeah, I think Cody Rhodes is the only one that can really win it. I know right now we have 19 of the 30 participants announced. I could see Seth, um, Karen Cross on the outside chance of Cody Wooden for some reason, but it's, it's almost like Cody, it's Cody's to lose. Um, now, I mean, we may have a surprise or two. I know there's talk of Jay White. There's talk of other people. M Great Muda was one rumor I saw, which, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, the fact that Vince is back, I don't think we're going to have that. Oh, my God, that just happened. Surprise, like we did with AJ Styles or somebody like that. We're, I don't think we're going to have a Jay White. I don't think we're going to have... Unless something has happened that hasn't been announced where there was some type of sale and the cons bought it and Kenny Omega shows up. Then we get Kenny Omega and AJ Styles. Other than something stupid like that, I just I think it's pretty much Cody Rhodes is saying to win. I think it's pretty, you know, this is what's going to happen. If you want to check out my uh, best of, I talked about kind of different... People have won the match and where they go from to WrestleMania, how they've some have lost it, some have won the title. Um, as for the women's, I mean, right now there are 12 of 30. You know we'll have some legends, probably six, six to eight legends, probably three to five NXT. Oh, Braun Breaker is probably the biggest, biggest NXT guy in, in the men's rumble. Um, you know we'll probably have Ronda Rousey. I bet she'll be there. Um, I mean, Raquel Gonzalez, Raquel Rodriguez might win it. Her or Shayna Baszler, somebody like that. Maybe Lacey Evans. I could see her bringing her back for like the 14th time and the 14th different gimmick as a Marine winning it. Honestly, I'm just not, I'm not that stoked on who's going to win. Um, so if you had to pin me down for women, Shayna Baszler, Raquel Rodriguez, Ronda Rousey would be my three for the men's. If it's not Cody, I want to know what you're doing, but Cody Rhodes, um, Seth, Cody, Seth, or Austin Theory, if I had to pick names. I don't think we'll have that huge surprise. I just, it, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just me, it just, Royal Rumble doesn't seem that big. I think it's because we have these names announced. I love it when there's no names announced, so we didn't know. Um, and they wouldn't have done the vignettes on Cody. Yeah, we all knew Cody was coming back. I mean, John Cena, maybe? I mean, is it going to be the 08 at, at 30? John Cena comes out, and Jamie and checks remote control. He might hit a kid, but hey, that'd be kind of, you know, be interesting. Um, do we get the Epic Edge Retarded Edge? I don't know when's the men's. Um, and yeah, that's my uh, Royal Rumble preview. We've got Retained between Roman Reigns, Bianca Belair, Bray Wyatt wins the Mountain Dew, Pitch Black match, um, Raquel Rodriguez, Lacey Evans, Ronda Rousey, my three picks for the women's, Cody Seth, Austin Theory. Um, the only big surprises I think would be like an Edge. Um, or Stone Cold. I don't think we'll get a rock. What? Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, separate the belts. What I could see happening, Cody wins the Rumble, comes out on Raw, calls out Roman. Roman comes out. Paul Heyman has both belts. Cody reaching over and pointing at the black WWE title and said, I want that one. I don't care shits about the other one. I want that title and that title only. And then having maybe Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn, or Sami Zayn being out there, but having Kevin Owens come out and say, you know what, if you don't want the Universal title, I'll take it. Setting up a chamber with Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Roman, and two other, you know, Seth or whoever else. And then doing something with Sami winning the Rumble like Kofi did, and do Sami and Kevin at Mania. And then that's if we get The Rock. So if The Rock comes out at Chamber, screws over um, Roman for the Universal title. So at Mania, we have Cody versus Roman for the World WWE title on Saturday night. And then Maven on Sunday is The Rock versus Roman. And then we have Universal title 
Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. Farfetch is hell, I know. More than likely, we'll get Cody versus Roman night two for both belts. And we'll get rid of the Universal title. Cody brings back the big gold WCW title that is dead. Tell NWA, and we call it good. All right, as always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.